Oh, that's right, baby. J-Rock is here. It is time for the most electrifying YouTuber in all of youtube tain -ment. to do another reaction. We got ourselves, finally, some Starfield gameplay. For A thousand explore. planets. We can't wait. Hi, J-Rock has come back. What is happening in the end and in with the millions? Man, millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world. That's right, J-Rock is here. Man, let's waste no time. Let's check out. We finally got some Starfield gameplay coming later on this year. Just might be the game that forces the great one to have to get a uh, Xbox Series X. But let's see. Let's check this thing out. It's hard to express how excited all of us at Bethesda are to be here with you today. We're so grateful you're spending the time and we know you've waited a long time to finally see Starfield. Uh, it's easily our most ambitious game ever. Like our previous games, it's an epic role-playing game where you get to be who you want and go where you want. But this time, you'll be exploring space. So let's jump right in. This is early in the game as you arrive on the mysterious moon of Crete. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. and third person. Oh, I guess you can choose, okay? I always like having a choice, you know. Thank you. 
It would appear that pirates of the Crimson Fleet are using the facility. Okay. After some initial encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who, in the future the game is set in, are the last group of space explorers. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. As to what they are, what they're building. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. So, you found something? The new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? The artifact you found appears to be one of many, scattered across the galaxy. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Of course, the Settled Systems is full of groups with other priorities. That's the Crimson Fleet! Everybody get ready! The Fleet doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for UCC Step. And together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. We're peacekeepers. We protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, no one quits. The only way out is death. The path ahead may be dangerous. But we are not stopping. Most Dusties don't even make it this far. So you can play either. Because you whatever happens at the end of this world yeah. will change humanity. Forever. That gives you a look at the stories in Starfield. But ultimately, it's not our story. It's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. Okay. It's our like most flexible yet. Selection. You can customize all the elements of how you look. I'm 
You'll pick a background that gives you three starting Damn. skills. Okay. Says here you spend some time as a diplomat. I think a way with words might prove useful. There are optional traits, and these come with unique advantages and disadvantages. But it's not just in how you can look, but in how your character plays and develops. The skill system combines the best from our previous games, and you can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. And there's deep crafting systems, from running research projects with the resources you find, to crafting weapon mods needed to survive. And you can build your own outposts. These act as a home away from home for survival and resource generation. You can choose where and how to build each one, and you can hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. Get it? Get it. But that's not all. You can even build your own spaceships. Mm. You can choose crew members, and yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. There's loads of different modules, ship manufacturers, and more. Hmm. I have to say, it's so cool, we just absolutely love this. It's not just how the ship looks, it's how it performs. From engines, to shields, to weapon systems, because yes, you can fly it. Thrusters boosted. Bad. We can't wait for all of you to experience the game. Thanks again for being with us today, and thanks for all the support you've given us over the decades, especially on this game. It's been an incredible journey for us making it, but we know that's really only the beginning, for it's when all of you play it that the real journey begins. Yep. And you may be wondering, just how big is this game? So that's we thought we'd take one last moment and show you. That's a good question. How big is it? Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. You can land in New Atlantis, but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. And it's not just this planet. It's all the planets in the system. From barren but resource-heavy ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. Damn. Over 1,000 planets, all open for a you to explore. 1,000 planets? We can't wait to see what you find. Man. Like, I've heard of open world, but open universe? 
thousand planets. I guess you're not really meant to finish the game. You're meant to explore. I thought it was coming out this year. Come on, next. Well, J Rock says this pretty damn big game to have a, a thousand planets, over a hundred constellations or systems or whatever. Don't think you're meant to finish the game, just think you're meant to explore it. Don't know if you can, because I'm sure they're going to be having DLC and updates and all that sort of thing to it. But uh, J Rock is definitely interested. I don't know if I'm ready to lay down $500 to play it. Considering, you know, unless I can find an Xbox Series X to, you know, somebody don't want no more, still works. Maybe, but I don't know. I got to see a little bit more than what I'm seeing right now. I'm getting a lot of Mass Effect vibes with some No Man's Sky along with that. But this is only the tip of the iceberg of what they're showing. Maybe they'll show us something else that'll really pique the great one's interest, all right? Uh, but I'll keep my eyes open. Now, what say you? Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed the Great One's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Be sure that you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Stay tuned for my next video. Mamba, GG, and Wakanda forever. Here we go, What a rock is. Cook it.